What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of F-Bomb. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Boss Audio Motorcycle Bluetooth Speakers. Let's check it out. Alright, so right away, um, there's a lot of wiring involved with this. Um, not necessarily wiring that you have to do, but there's a lot of wire involved. Meaning you have to hide a lot of wire. Um, me personally, so if you look right here underneath, there's actually a leather tool bag. A zip tied to the end of my, my uh, handlebars. Hiding away the amp and the, all the excess wires that really was like kind of an eyesore. I do have a couple wires still sticking out, but I couldn't really hide those any better than I already did. So it's good enough. Uh, the sound on these guys are amazing. One thing I will say is that the one bad thing that I don't really care for these, the sound is okay. Depending on the position of the speakers, if you have the speakers pointing straight at your face, you'll hear it just fine. People around you, not so much, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Um, but the one thing I will say about these guys that I don't necessarily care for is that there is always power going to them. You're going to be plugging them up straight to your battery. They're always going to be on. I left my bike for maybe three days without riding it and my battery was completely dead. Didn't care for that. So what did I do to fix it? I actually installed this guy. This is a rocker switch that I put on the side of my, uh, my cover. And I have it hooked up to the speakers and the battery so I can actually turn the power off and on. So on position. There we go. Now they're on. One cool thing about this, it does come with a volume knob. So you can actually turn the volume up and on. Now there's no way, easy way to um, actually, well there's no set way on actually mounting this. This really like wherever you can find it. I actually bought industrial strength um, double sided tape. and I just put it right there on the left side of my housing unit for my controls. And now I can just turn it off and on with my thumb. So if I see a cop, oop, turn it down, oop, down that way, up that way. So let's see if we can find some copyright free music and uh, have you guys listen to it. All right, we're gonna pick, I don't know, uh, let's see if we can find some like hip hop. All right, we'll choose this. How many of you have had a job and you wake up and you say, Oh, that's loud. Now Man. you're here. You we are. Yeah. Pretty standard YouTube music. They're not gonna copyright me for this, but I'm gonna turn it all the way up so you guys can hear it. Now the video doesn't really do it do it very justice. I don't want to turn it up any higher than that because I do have neighbors. Um, but it does get pretty loud. Um, depending on your your music that you actually put on there. So I have learned that music that is downloaded and re-rendered and put onto your phone, from like your computer, quality goes down, sound kind of goes down. Um, streaming from like Spotify or whatever, um, high quality rendering music is gonna be a little bit louder. Um, what you can also do, the what I learned, you can download apps to where you can actually, it's like equalizer apps for your phones. You can actually crank up the volume, crank up the, the bass, lower the bass if you have to. Um, so you can do that if you do want these speakers to be a little bit louder. But yeah, so that's, uh, that's what I like about it. That's my two cents. I'm gonna turn it off now. This is irritating music. There we go. And if you guys do end up picking these guys up, you can get them for, Anywhere from like 80 to 130 bucks, you get them in a two pack or a four pack. I just did the two pack. And um, as, oh, as far as mounting goes, mounting is pretty simple and standard. I mean, they just go anywhere. Uh, this is actually on a one inch bar, but if you have a seven eighth bar, uh, you can do the same thing, same setup. I actually had to bend my brackets in a little bit to get it to fit around a one inch bar, but it still worked. 
and if you guys are interested in getting these guys i do recommend if you do want best sound and being able to hear it on a ride point them straight at your face uh, with a full face helmet you don't hear much but with a half face helmet you definitely hear it so that's my two cents if you guys have any comments questions concerns on these boss audio motorcycle bluetooth speakers comment down below let me know what you guys think let me know if you're interested in doing this for your bike um but yeah any help i can give you i'm always here comment down below i got you guys but till next time thank you for joining me on this episode of f-bomb